Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite obsession is back. Hold on a second. For some reason, this thing is being a douchebag and a half. Okay! My favorite obsession in the whole wide world is back on ABC7. Yes, that is Dancing with the Frickin' Stars. Who doesn't love Tom Bergeron? Oh, he's so dreamy. But, no, seriously, I wanted to review this episode, season premiere, because it's now season 11. I'm so freaking stoked. And the cast this year is quite insane. And I'm going to pull that up just in case, because um, I should. Season... Yeah, I, I never do this right. Season 11? Oh, no, that's wrong. 11? Dancing with the Stars cast, that's what it says? Yes, it does. So, I, um, I'm hoping this is right. Is that, I don't know. I don't know if this is right. I don't even know. Um, I'm really sort of stoked because I'm a huge avid fan of, um, Dancing with the Stars. I am. I'm a huge fan of it. I love it. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And we have, I have the list on here now. I don't know what the hell that is, but, um, don't play. Don't do anything. Please don't. All right. So let's run down the list. We're going to do the horribles first. The first one I have to talk about, only because I have to, where is it? Mike, the situation, Sarantino. Ha ha ha. Oh my God. Oh, my dear Jesus. I, I have to give the kid credit because he, um... Um, I have to give the kid credit because he only had five days to rehearse this dance. And he did the cha-cha. He's paired, up, he's paired up with Karina Smirnoff. Now, his placement, I what? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be because he is a fist pumper. But he was, everyone knows him as from the Jersey Shore, and it was horrid. At, like, it wasn't horrid horrid, but it was like, um, it, it was just, it, it, it could have been a little bit better. But the fact he only had five days, sorry, yep, I know, total boobage. The, the fact that he had five days to do this was kind of shocking, because he had just, he just wrapped, he just wrapped Jersey Shore last Monday, and he just got done, and he literally, his last night of rehearsal was last night, so, um, it was kind of interesting, Kurt Warner, who is age 39, and a Super Bowl, Super Bowl winning quarterback, he did the, um, I believe he did the Vietnamese waltz, fucking like watching a train wreck, I couldn't, like, I couldn't get away from it. was like, I, you couldn't help but watch the, the terribleness that was there. Now, I'm going to give him the benefit of the, adult, uh, of the doubt. Because it is the first episode, and, you know, you never know who's going to come out on top. So, I will... It just, it, I hate football players, because they're all flat-fucking-footed. There were some points, I have to give him, though, that, that his feet were not flat-footed, but his arms were like... It was like a bird! It was like a bird! Oh, my God. It was like an albatross. Bristol Palin. Um, now she's a spokesperson, and the, obviously she's the daughter of um, Sarah Palin. Apparently, I found out tonight that she is the uh, a spokesperson for brace yourself being against teen pregnancy. Face me palm, you're a retard. You just had a kid, but for her, you were just having a kid. She was in very good shape. She's a cha cha. And I was, I was pleasantly surprised. She was just really, really timid. And it could it, 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 when I say pleasantly surprised, I mean like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad of a car wreck as I thought it was going to be. She can shake her hips, but that's basically it. And if she doesn't get over being timid, then it's just not going to happen. I mean, it's just not going to happen. Um, Margaret Cho. She wants to be this, you know, she's, she wants to be this, this feminine woman, and she did the Vietnamese waltz. 
and she wants to dance. And I get that she's trying to take it serious, but she put comedy in a play in a dance where it should not be. She could potentially be this beautiful, elegant woman, but instead she went the comedy route and she fucked herself over. So I really don't. Oh, I gotta vote before the end of the night. Uh, <laughs> I really don't see myself voting for her. She's a great comedian. She's a great actress. She's from Drop Dead Diva. That's where her new start is, and I just don't see it happening for her. Michael Bolton. Stick with the singing dude. <laughs> I was like a kid when I first heard of him and I, I didn't I didn't think he was actually still touring, so he's still touring and like singing and making albums and all this I blew me out of fucking water like he blew me away that he was so bad. It was it was horrible. It was like watch it was like watching a baby trying to take his first steps and then falling. It was so bad. Rick Fox. Now, alright, let's see. Well, did I get to anybody else? Oh, no. Rick Fox is part of the good people. Okay. Florence Henderson. Horrible, but cute. I'll get back to her in that. There's more on her in that. Alright, so we got, we got rid of the bad people. Now let's talk about the good. And why don't we, yeah, why don't we start off with Florence Henderson? She's 76, and everyone knows her as, you know, Carol Brady. This woman's got a potty mouth like you wouldn't believe. I thought I cursed like a sailor. Holy shit. She's so epically cute, and the whole thing was just adorable. She was so cute. Oh, my God. I was laughing so hard, because she was just like... It was... I forget who was on, on last season. I forget her name, and she was adorable, too, and she was in her 70s, but... This was so much better, and she was adorable and cute, and then she's paired up with Corky Ballas. So the Ballas brother, the Ballas son and daughter, son, uh, son versus son is going to happen this season again, which is so great because Corky and Mark are great pros, and they've won so many championships as fa a father son team. So this is going to be really great. Uh, Brandy Norwood, everyone knows her as just Brandy. She's a mother of, like, three, I think, and she's a great singer. She surprised me really well. Her Vietnamese waltz was flawless. I believe it was the most flawless Vietnamese of the night. She had extensions that were beautiful. Her fingertips looked great. I know a little bit about ballroom dancing. I don't know why, but I do. Um, she had beautiful uh, hip rotation. She had great feet place uh, foot placement. Uh, it was... Amazing, and she's she's paired with Max. You can't look at Max and not think, "Holy shit, you're hot." You can't. It just it cannot be done. Um, but the, I see them going someplace really great. Um, Rick Fox is paired with Cheryl. Um, she he and he's he's a former NBA player. He's an actor. He's been on Ugly Betty, and he's been he was in the game. So you know he's he's done a lot of stuff. Um, he, I, here's where I differentiate from, here's where I, I'm torn. Yeah, he did a great performance, but it, it all seemed like he was going through the motions. Yes, he did a great Vietnamese waltz, he really did. I just wasn't super pleased with it, but it was good enough to put him in the good category. I just really think he could have stepped it up a notch, considering. Um, uh, huh, Kyle Massey. For those of you that don't know, he was in That's So Raven, and he was in, he's recently in Corey in the House, I think that's cancelled now. Apparently he's a rapper. This kid is now 19 years of age, and he's a Disney star. And dude is paired up with Lacey Schwimmer. I love her. I follow her on Twitter. She's amazing. She's a blonde now. And, you know, I, I fucking love Lacey. And Kyle went out and shook his little ass. He shook this little ass. It was great. I was very impressed with it because he, for the for the men for the men of the show, he put the bar like so high. So they're gonna have to really catch up to this little 19 year old kid, because honestly, it's it's that's he's for the for the men's side. He's they they're all screwed if they can't beat Kyle. I was, you know, for a Disney star to do that. I, I'm not surprised because Disney stars have Sabrina was on the show. She she was. Very, very up to. She was paired with Mark. You know, you, they, they, when they want something, they do it. These kids are—they strive for what they want, so it works. 
Um, the second to last one I want to talk about is Audrina Patridge. I'm everyone knows I'm a huge Hills fan. I cried when it ended. I love Audrina. She's so cute, and she blew me the fuck away. I was so thrilled with her performance. I couldn't believe that Little Miss Party Girl could shake her ass and be very well placed. Uh, I, I couldn't. I was floored, floored, at how beautiful she looked. Not only that, but how she was really dedicated in learning it. And she was like, you saw the rehearsals, and this girl was like dedicated. Like she was like on point. I was really proud. Um, and it was amazing. Now, for those of you that don't know, Jennifer, who, who don't know who Jennifer Day is, and it, then you live under a rock, Jennifer Day is, uh, the actress from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and more, and everyone knows, uh, Dirty Dancing. Now, this was a great thing, because I freaking loved it. She was on point, she did all this, oh, she did a song from Dirty Dancing. I forget the name of right now because it's escaping me. She's dancing with Derek this season, and it was beautiful. She cried because she, you know, she, she. It was like in her mind, it was going back in time to when she was with Patrick. Not gonna lie, I bawled my little face out because she's gorgeous, and to do that was was so hard for her. My main vote clearly. This is gonna be a great season. I cannot wait. My main vote. This season, the right now, tonight, is Audrina Patrick. You guys need to vote for her. She's really great. Um, my second vote would be for the situation, because I want to see what he could do for the next week. Honestly, I, I would like to see what he could do. All right, that's it for now. I love you guys so much. Peace in the Middle East. Love you guys. Bye.